Hello, I am so glad that you could join us. We have Kenzie Hamlin and Luna McDermott and perhaps Olivia Vendetti is gonna drop in on us shortly. And these uh, young women all serve on the board of Youth Squared. Thank you for taking some time to talk with us. Can you share what it is that Youth Squared does in our community for people who don't, haven't heard about you yet? So we organize um, pop-ups pretty much every month. Um, there are some exceptions, like we did a benefit concert, but we collect different things for that we see a need for in the community. And we also give out grants if somebody comes up with like a public service project. Um, we had one person who came in and wanted to build like a big compost bin for the, her camp. So we gave a grant for that and just different things that we think there's a need for in the community. That's really cool. And it's not just like, it, it, it's, I think, help us understand your demographic of who you're reaching into, who are you giving grants to? I don't think it's, you're giving grants to folks like me who come in and want to build a compost. You're really looking to educate and reach out to younger people in the community, right? Um, well, well it, it, yeah, you can uh, go ahead, Luna. Uh, well, it's pretty much anyone. We usually have a lot of younger people coming in, um, but we're really open to everyone. I mean, we are an advisory board. We have youth and adults. So we really just want to help out our community. It doesn't really matter. Well, you're also learning how and teaching people how to write grants and where they might go to get more funding so they can do more work in the community. Yeah. Yes. That's a special and we, in our, in our, in here in Saratoga. That's a really cool thing you're doing. Yeah. And pretty much anybody with um, an idea that we think we could use, we, you know, support them. And I think we give up to like $200 grants, um, but a significant amount of money to things that we see a need for very cool. How did, how did each of you get interested in Youth Squared? How did you hear about them? And then how did you decide to step on as a board member? That's a pretty time labor intensive thing. Um, well, I actually heard about it through social media. Um, one of the current board members, Andre, he posted and he was just like, is anyone interested in joining? And I actually just swept up and I was just like, um, can you tell me more about it? And so basically I just got on a Zoom with Beverly and we talked and I thought it was just really cool and something that was just right up my alley basically. And I mean, I joined and I've had a lot of fun. It's been really, really cool and really interesting. Uh, how long have you been with Youth Squared and where are you in school? Um, I would say I've been with them since about April of 2021, okay. March, April. And I go to school at Emma Willard in Troy. Yes, and my daughter attended Emma Willard. Kenzie, oh, nice. um, how long have you been with, I think I've seen your name also on the board for a while. Um, I think like Jan January to March-ish last year, uh, my mom worked with Beverly and one of our current board members in the past, mm -hmm. and she had been wanting to join for years. Um, because he would post about it on Facebook and stuff. But during the pandemic, she was like, now we really should. So we got on a call with Beverly and we have been for a couple months and we've been with different types of pop-ups. And I think it's really cool to see the evolution of it yeah. in just a couple months. Share with us some of the pop-ups that you've done this year. And I know it's probably, as you were saying, the evolution of it under this whole COVID and the, all the changes we're going through as a community, right? What kind of pop-up events have you done? Where have you done them? What's been- um, um, I ran a tomato plant giveaway in May or G I think it was early June. And Sunnyside Gardens donated pots and so we got soil from a local business. Um, and they gave us a very generous discount. And then we got plants. I can't remember the name, but um, 
And then we got 50 plants donated from Dean's Flowers and 50 plants from this other place. And we went to the food kitchen or the food pantry um, in Saratoga. And then we also gave some to the um, Jefferson Terrace Housing community. Yeah. yeah. And we did a Scott Cook concert in September and we raised quite a bit of money. I think it was like a thousand dollars and we donated like 500 of it to um, All Hands and Hearts, which is a national like relief program for natural disasters. So like with wildfires in Australia and stuff, they donate whatever they get to help other people. That's a lot of reach. That's a lot of reach. Yeah from right here um, in Saratoga. Hi, Olivia, thank you for jumping in. Yeah, of course, I'm so sorry. I just, a bunch of plans that I had were suddenly canceled and I had to scramble to redo a bunch of meetings, so. Well, glad to have you here and acknowledging everybody's wickedly full schedules. Uh, Olivia, wh- where are you in school and how long have you been with on the Youth Squared board? Oh, um, so I'm in ninth grade. Um, I've been with the board for like, uh, three years now I think okay. about three or yeah about so three. you so you've only you've been with youth squared prior to these pop-up events which kind of started about a year and a half ago two years ago oh yeah mm-hmm. since even pre-covid we've been doing um lots of events like the pop-ups which are you know very community oriented and really more about outreach and trying to help uh, certain fill certain niches mm. in the community that need you know special attention or that maybe aren't getting the recognition that they need and so even prior to COVID that was always a really important focus for us and now that COVID has brought so many of those um, issues and those needs to light um, I think we've been able to kind of address those issues more uh, directly, just knowing how important they are in light of, you know, this kind of overarching pandemic that has made so many things difficult and inaccessible. Um, it's made us realize how important making sure everyone has everything that they need is. And I think that that's really important, especially, um, especially just knowing that that's something that we as kids can do um, when you feel really powerless and helpless in life. You know, you're so young, it's really difficult to um, feel like you have a voice and feel like you can make a difference. And also, you know, being stuck at home and feeling like there are so many things out of your control, but helping people and providing people with support and care is something that we at U Squared have always strived to do. And it's something that they, that we help everyone kind of do and fulfill that kind of passion of theirs. Well said, there's a different sense of urgency. Yeah. I think that we're all having. Um, Luna, what has been one of the pop-ups that, that really made a difference to you or that really hooked your passion? Um, well, I did join it like March or April, so I hosted a pop-up in July of 2021, and I did a sanitary hygiene pop-up, and we donated about like, I think we bought $500 worth of products, and then we were able to donate probably like maybe $1,000 worth of products to various charities, and it was really, really amazing because so many of the board members were able to allow us to open like opened our eyes to many different places which we could donate um for example we donated to this shelter which um women can go to when they get out of prison it's kind of like a rehabilitation Mm -hmm. um, center and they can get readjusted to the outside world and it was just really amazing to go there and just to see like and not just there, but all of the places we donated to, the people were just so, so grateful. And it was, I really liked that pop-up because it was kind of like something that a lot of people don't think of is needed. But, you know, as a woman, I know that those products are so expensive. And when it comes to between that 
and for example, buying yourself food is a really hard decision, but those products should be accessible to everyone and should be, shouldn't be a decision you have to make between mm -hmm. food and feeding your child or something like that. So it just really opened my eyes to that like poverty and a lot of people can't afford that stuff. And I think it was just a really overall great experience. Mm -hmm. And I'm really looking forward to do another pop-up and come up with another creative idea. I'm pretty amazed by the range of ideas that's coming out of your group and the outreach that you're doing. And, and with that, the education and illumination and so much of what we, um, we see around us is, is, or what feels like ignorance is that there hasn't been opportunities to be exposed to where the needs are and, and who's challenged and in what way. And what you're doing project by project and, and kid by kid is touching into those person by person, is touching into those human stories and bringing it out to us. Uh, Olivia, is there a project, uh, one of the pop-ups that was particularly special to you? I think that, I mean, I was, I participated in a lot of them, but I would say that Luna's was probably my most, mm -hmm. um, the one that was most impactful for me just seeing all of those people kind of get together and especially people who came and told us, I don't know if you remember Luna, but a bunch of people came and told us that they were so glad that this was happening and they had been trying to find ways to do something like this. And they were really glad that someone was kind of taking that action. And I think that it's always been really important to me. I mean, Luna definitely said it really well, but um, yeah. Well, all, all three of you, thank you. The, the insights are really strong. Uh, I'm going to make sure on the website that we've got a link so people can find you of all ages to both support your work, but also to join you because that's what you're doing is you are leading now and your, your leadership is helping to raise the next group of leaders. What do you see happening? What's popping up for, for you squared in the near future? Um, I know in February, we are doing a blanket drive. I don't know if they've decided where they're going to be donated to, but um, it'll be called bundles of blankets. And then I know they have some, they have a lot of ideas lined up, like a vegetable or fresh produce collection, because somebody recently has like a fridge that's open for people who need food. That's the free um, fridge over at the Frederick yes. Allen Lodge really really yes. special project and um I know we're looking we have like this huge list of ideas and things to do um but it's just not enough months in a year to do them all right now so it's the patience cool. in choosing which ones you like the most it's kind of interesting isn't it having to prioritize and, and yeah. weigh it with immediate needs and long-term needs and just how much you can get into a calendar year well, I, 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 time is of the essence here. You guys all have to be other places. I so appreciate you joining us and uh, I look forward to hearing more about what Youth Squared is doing next. I'm assuming we can see what you're doing on your website, uh, catch up on that. Full disclosure, uh, Youth Squared is very near and dear to me. My son, Eric served for four years. Uh, he's now in his late twenties. So um, been watching watching your group just evolve and just do deeper, more amazing things all the time. So thank you very much, Kenzie and Luna and Olivia for taking time today with MLK Saratoga and uh, be well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. We'll see you again.